Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today's video is a little bit different. It's not my normal Minecraft content and that's cause it's my birthday and I'm very excited. And so I thought I would make a cute little video where I tell you guys 23 fun little facts about me. <laughs> Number one, my name is Tay. Hello. Uh, some people call me Seashell Vids or Sea or Seashell. Um, you can call me any of the above. I don't really care. Uh, all, all of the names fit me. I like all of them. Uh, and I'm very, very happy to be here. <laughs> Number two. My pronouns are they, he. Um, these, these starting fun facts are not ones that I've tried to hide. They're not ones that I've tried to keep to myself or anything. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted to do them because they're, they're facts about me. And this is also like a little bit of a, like, get to know you video and that sort of thing. <laughs> Number three. I love Minecraft. I think it's a lot of fun. You see it all over my channel. You see it all over my content. Um, and it's because I really enjoy it. It's such a diverse game. It's such a sandbox game. Like you can do whatever you want. I have one series that I'm doing where the entire point is for me to get better at the game, uh, get better at what most people consider to be like the main game. I have one where it's like really just me building. Well, that one hasn't started yet, but <laughs> there will be one where it's like me just building. Um, I have a series on Twitch that I've just started recently that is going to be addressing different like mental health things in a not scary way um, because it's Minecraft and it's very obviously not real. So it's, it's a lot easier to get away with that sort of thing. <laughs> Number four, I... Absolutely adore D&D. D&D is so much fun. I got into it about a year ago and I am so happy I'm here. I've met some really, really, really amazing friends. Um, some of which have sent me gifts for my birthday. Some of which have just like, you know, sent me messages saying happy birthday. Um, some of whom I'm playing D&D with tonight, which I'm so excited. Some people that I really look up to and I was like, ah, we're friends, what? <laughs> so I'm, I'm really excited about that one. Number five, I put hours and hours into my videos. I am so happy to put in those hours because this is such a passion of mine and I enjoy it so much. Um, but yeah, no, I put hours and hours into different videos and I will stay up until the wee hours of the morning to get things finished and posted um, because I enjoy making the content and I enjoy sharing them with you guys. Um, so all the support that you give makes me super happy <laughs> because I do put so much time into this. Like this video alone, the recording session here, me sitting, talking like this is probably only going to be like half an hour, maybe, but I'm going to then spend probably a good hour or two editing it uh, because I want to make sure that it looks good. I want to make sure that it doesn't look really bad, that sort of thing, as well as like I put a couple hours of time into coming up with different little fun facts to say and things like that so that it wasn't just like a bunch of like nonsense. I came and sat down with a plan, you know? Uh, number, number, <laughs> number six, um, my active social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. So I have five of them. Um, and if you want to check me out on any of them, they're all going to be in the description. Um, I did actually recently say on Twitter <laughs> that I wanted each of my platforms to be like a different me. Um, essentially like a place where I like am me, but just like, because they're each different platforms, it's a lot easier to express myself differently. Um, and it gives off very different vibes. So like, Twitter, Twitter is where I just post random thoughts. I do some live tweeting while I watch videos, which is great insight into like how I think about things when I watch them. Um, Instagram is a lot more of where I put projects that I'm proud of, like little photos of that sort of thing, or I talk really nice about myself there. Um, on TikTok, TikTok is just chaos. It is pure chaos. I post cosplays. I co post uh, random videos of me talking, random lip syncs, uh, just like trends. Like I've done some trends, like anything that I want to post, I do post. I don't have a like genre that I fit into on TikTok. And it's a lot of fun to do it that way. And just like allow myself to express myself different places. Like YouTube here, I try and keep this significantly more like PG, PG 13. Um, 
because that's a better audience for this platform. Uh, Twitch is PG-13 um, with more cursing. I typically try not to curse, um, but when I'm with other people, I don't always tell them that they can't. Um, a lot of the time people don't do it because that's what I typically do, but I don't always tell people that they can't. Um, whereas like TikTok, TikTok has no rules. TikTok is like everything. Whatever I want to post, I don't censor myself. TikTok is just like for everything, you know? Um, which I think is really interesting. I think it's fun and that's typically from what I've been told and what I've seen, that's not what you want to do because you want to be similar everywhere so that like one, people will come from different places because they're like, I was here and I saw this and that's what I expect here. But I was like, I don't want that. That doesn't vibe well for me. So I don't do that. Number seven, I've been video editing for eight years now, uh, which is absolutely insane to think about. I started in high school. Um, no, I started before high school. I started back in like middle school. I did like this one fan edit that's actually, that's actually, I did post like four years after I finished it. Um, number eight, speaking of fan edits, fan edits are my favorite types of videos to do. Um, because I don't always have access to the area that I would like to film in or the sort of things, I don't always have access to the things that I want to film. So sometimes if there's a specific sort of story that I want to tell, it's a lot easier to do it in the form of a fan edit, of taking somebody else's character that they've created and taking a song and just kind of putting those together. Um, I like doing fan edits that I try and make the same vibe as one would find fanfics. So fanfics are like ways to take those characters and tell their stories, right? Like that's what fanfic writers do. I do that, but with video editing. Um, and it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, when, when creators like see those videos, I freak out. That gives me so much life. Number nine, one of my favorite things to do with my friends when I'm not video editing, when I'm not watching YouTube, when I'm not watching stuff, when I'm not consuming or creating media, one of my absolute favorite things to do is sit down at a table with my friends and play board games. Board games are absolutely so much fun. And if I ever get big enough, that's some content that I want to make. I want to make, I want to stream me playing Betrayal at House on the Hill with my friends or um, what is it called? Like the dead of winter or something like that. It's a zombie apocalypse game. I have like two full bookshelves that are like floor to ceiling bookshelves in my living room overflowing with board games. I love board games so much. 10. Oh my gosh. I have notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks of different video ideas of different story ideas of different just like content creation ideas i have a TikTok series in one of them that i want to do um but just so many ideas that i don't currently have the time i don't currently have the money for uh, mostly it's the time because like i need to like work more to like make money to pay bills but i guess it's also technically money in that sense most of these don't have like cost to them it's just like the time to do it um but I have notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks of different ideas that I want to do. And I hope to even just get to a fraction of those ideas at some point. Um, one of them that I will tell you a little bit about, um, and by a little bit about just like the fact that I have it, um, is I had a brief hyper, hyper fixation and then I kind of went, I'm not at a place where I'm ready to do this. So I like was able to get off of it, but I had a brief hyper fixation on ARGs. Um, which are alternate gaming reality, where it's like uh, a way of telling story through different forms of uh, social media or in person or whatever. Um, so I saw, I think it was Matt Pack, I might be wrong. I saw somebody do a theory on one done by Wilbur Sutton. I went, that's really cool. Uh, and then I went, what if I did one? So I have it like 75% planned out. I have like 75% of an ARG. I just don't have the time or the following to do it yet. So when I get to that point, you can bet, you can bet I'm gonna do one. Number 11, um, 
I am not typically a fan of taking big risks and except for when it comes to content creation. Content creation, I'm more than happy to take a risk. I, uh, like even right now, um, I posted the other day, I posted a YouTube video that was a Questcraft video in the style of uh, Green from Hermitcraft. And that took me, that took me like three times as long to edit as I thought it would because the, his editing style is so much different than mine. And I also only had the videos to go on. Like if I had been able to see like a couple of his timelines and just like the specific, like what he was working with, like if I could see his entire project, like even just one of them, I think it would be, have been so much faster. Um, Cause that's a big way for me to learn actually is, is like just being like here, here's a finished product with all of the steps included go emulate it that to me is a lot easier than looking at the finished project and being like cool how did we get here um but i'm a big fan of like trying new things like that number 12. okay 12 and 13 i'm gonna put together because they're not the same but they're related my favorite way to show somebody i care is by making them something uh so like for example, okay, I'm gonna give a public example because I don't want to say anything that like, I haven't talked with any of my friends about using them as examples, so I'm not going to. But there is this one uh, Twitch channel called Minus One Charisma, they're a D&D &D show. And I did, and you'll see it in a few months when I am able to post the full video, but I did a little building challenge for myself where I built a scene from their show um and then i put together just a mini little video i think it was like three minutes to send to them early to be like hey here's a thing i made i made you a thing and they reacted to it live on stream and that's 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 um 13 is my favorite way for people to show their appreciation is when i give those get just seeing their reaction it gives me life like seeing people's reactions to the things that I've put my time and soul into and just been like, here, I love you, I love this, have this. Having people react to that means the absolute world to me. 14, 15, and 16 go together. So 14 is the first YouTuber I ever chose to watch. So like we were showing YouTube videos at school and that sort of thing, but the first YouTuber that I ever decided I want to watch this person and I went out of my way to spend some of my free time doing was Pizza Hut. Um, and the first series that I ever chose to watch was his How to Minecraft. So How to Minecraft season two, How to Minecraft. Um, and in that series that leads into 16, in that series, he built a treehouse. And so because of that, when I got into my first SMP, Questcraft, the starter house that I made was a treehouse inspired by his How to Minecraft treehouse. Um, I actually went back and I looked at um, a couple of his How to Minecraft videos where he was building it um, so that I could take inspiration but not copy. And just to think, like, there was like a, like few years gap in between him posting those and me getting into Questcraft, but just like that's how much of an impact it made on me um even now like i don't watch pizza hut on a regular basis he's mostly moved to twitch um but <laughs> i still watch him sometimes and he is even as he has thousands upon thousands of viewers um he still interacts with people he still is just like this, such a genuine person um and I think I was partially inspired by him. Like the fact, I don't think if any of the other YouTubers that I watched back then, I don't think any of them would have inspired me as much as he did um, because he was a genuine person and it was very obvious in his videos. It was very obvious in his content. Um, so if I ever get the chance to like interact with Pete um, or for some bizarre reason he sees this, it would be insane if he did, but if he did, I would tell him thank you because he's inspired me to be a content creator and honestly is part of the reason I'm here making this video right now. So yeah, that was 14 through 16. 17. With my friends. <laughs> with my friends, with people that I want to be friends with. 
I love telling my friends that I love them. Like you've seen it in some of my videos with Floral. Um, I tell Floral I love her all the time. She is one of my best friends and I just, I love, like even for the small things, even for the dumb things, I love just being like, I love you. Like, you're wonderful. You did this. I love you. Um, and it's because, well, one, because I care so much. Like, I do care so, so deeply about all of my friends. Um, but it's, it's, I love you is typically reserved for, like, romantic relationships from what I've seen or, like, familial relationships. And I was like, no, I don't want that. Um, or at least that's the context I grew up with it with. And I went, I don't like that. I, this person means so much to me. They don't have to be my family for me to be like, I care this much about you. Um, so exchanging I love yous with my friends, it makes me so happy. It makes me actually genuinely happy. And it is something that I use lightly not lightly like i do but i don't because i just care so much you watching this video i love you i do because you're spending some of your free time with me um i've come to a great appreciation for time and just like even something as short as five minutes that's five minutes of someone's life that they're not going to get back so if someone is willing to spend their time with me, with my content, it means the absolute world to me because they're choosing me over other things. Um, and that just, I don't take that lightly. That I don't take lightly. Like the fact that you are choosing to spend your time here with me right now means so much to me. Even if I never see your face, even if you never comment, even if you don't like, the fact that you are choosing right now to spend your time with me is a wonderful birthday gift, honestly. It's a wonderful gift in general, but like, it's my birthday video, so I'll say it's a birthday gift. <laughs> 18. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a fun one. So, I don't think this is necessarily a hot take, but I think it's an interesting one. I prefer reading fanfics over actual books. 20. While I do streaming, while I do video making, it's completely for me. I'm not against editing things, to fit what other people want. Um, one, because I think it's interesting. Um, two, because I care and I want to make it, like I said, people are spending their time with me. I want to make it an enjoyable time. I want to make it something where people are like, no, I'm, I'm happy to spend my time on this person, right? Um, and so when I've had uh, regular viewers or commenters or regular people like on the Discord or that sort of thing, um, interact and be like hey this is some feedback that i have for you this is something i'd love to see that's something that i think about and i take into account you know it's not just something that i like blow over or whatever like i i look at it i think about it and i go okay and i try and incorporate a lot of them 21 this is not a challenge this is by no means a challenge and that's kind of why i'm putting it at the end because only people that like care about the video are gonna stay and they're I think they're unlikely to do this um hate comments don't bother me I think in fact I laugh about most of them before I delete them I've screenshot a couple just to like laugh at because I think they're funny um for me one thing that like I've gained over the years is if I don't care about you especially on the internet like in person it's a little different but like on the internet if I don't care about you if I don't know who you are and you leave a hate comment I think it's the funniest thing and it doesn't bother me. Like what makes you think that like your one little hate comment is gonna outweigh like the other good comments that I'm getting from like people who I've seen regularly, who interact regularly, who I know have like seen multiple things. It's not, they're not just basing things off of one video or like one thing, you know, like what makes you think that you're so special like that? 22. I'm running a D&D &D one shot tonight, like I said earlier, and I'm really, really excited for it. And I literally wanted to spend an entire fun fact just being like, I'm excited for D&D &D tonight. I'm playing D&D &D with some super amazing people, some super amazing people that I'm so excited about. Uh, and fun fact 23. Today, I turned 23, and that's why we have 23 of these. Well, uh, that is it, everyone, for my fun facts with Tay for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please comment them down below. Down below. Ah. <laughs> um, 
Also, I don't I don't do this often, but if you liked what you saw, if you could drop a like um, and possibly even subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. Um, if you are interested in the birthday live stream I'm doing today, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, the D and D one is going to start at six p.m. EST over on my Twitch. I will be taking a break in between streaming games and streaming. Um, D and D, so there will be a little gap in there. So if I'm not online when you click on it, uh, and it's before six, that's why it's because I'm taking a second to get some food. I'm taking a second to hydrate. I'm taking a second to check in with my players. All of that fun jazz. But I'm really, really excited. I hope to see people there, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I have another really special video coming out Monday or Tuesday. I don't remember which day. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Squeeze <laughs> <Excuse> you. <laughs>